Good morning, YouTube land. It's friggin' early. We are back on the road, heading to Blizzard Blash. Bl Blizzard Blash. Yep. It's early. Haven't had any coffee yet. Sorry, deal with it. Um, traffic sucks. So I'm probably getting some really weird looks right now. Here, I'll show you. <laughs> oh, hold on. Don't want to drop you. Yep. We got big trucks. We got little cars. We got. We got lines of cars. You can see that? Yep. So I'm going to do my best to keep Adam and myself alive while we talk about what we're going to do today. We've got some filming to do on the drive down. Adam, what are we doing today? I hope breakfast the first day. <laughs> breakfast probably be a good idea. Breakfast. Don't mention breakfast to the fat kid. Breakfast is a good idea. Um, our cars are pretty much done. They're all in the back seat. Seat belted in. Yeah, got a little tinkering to do. All our vinyl's still right here, so I've got to put vinyl together, make you guys some cool stickers to give away while we're down here. We don't have all that far left to go, but plenty enough hours to get some stuff done. So and then we're gonna do a question and answer. We put a post up. A lot of you guys put out some good questions, so we're gonna do some shout-outs and answer those questions. Some Q and A. Ooh. Very nice, yes. And uh, Cody doesn't know what all the questions are, so she yeah, has really good answers. I have learned so far on this trip, Cody doesn't know much of what's going on. So Cody's just driving <laughs> and trying to keep us alive. So, so we, far he's done both. Uh, yeah, I'm doing all right. Um, <laughs> Other than dropping me off at the wrong hotel last night. <laughs> we, we're I, good. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Where'd we stay last night, Adam? Three feet off the interstate, apparently. <laughs> what it felt like. Desmonies? Des Desmonies, yes. I'm from Mosini. We just stayed in Desmonies. <laughs> All right, we'll be back with you here soon and we'll get started on that QA. Takeaways so far from this morning's trip. How do you keep a crackhead quiet? Give him something really small to focus on. We got a little vinyl. Stop hitting. The bumps, Cody. <laughs> Alright, we're starting to get a little bit more daylight. I'm fat, so we just have to eat fresh. <laughs> and get some food in. Then we're going to get to your Q&A. I'd say ask some more questions, but obviously I'm not going to put this up until tonight, so that won't do any damn good. We but can, hell. We can do it on the way back. Yeah, if you got any more questions, throw them in the comments. Yeah. We'll answer them on the way back, because... Otherwise, we're just going to be driving, and I got to put up with him. So I'd rather put up with you guys. Recap so far of the drive. Oh God! It is eight o'clock a.m. So we've been gone for almost. We've gone for thirteen hours at this point. Yep. Thirteen hours. We drove through the backwoods of Wisconsin. Yeah, that was an interesting route. Google, yep. thank you. We did uh, usually about eighty-five through all the forty-fives. You're not supposed to tell them that part. Kilometers. Ah. We uh, went through Minnesota. A little bit. Past two hipsters and an angry lady. So we saw all of Minnesota. She may not have been a lady. <laughs> and now we Dress are. Dressed like a lady. Iowa. There's corn. There's corn. That's about it. <laughs> it's cold. It's 29 it, it, degrees. 29 degrees. It's supposed to be warmer as you drive south. Yeah, the whole weather for Blizzard Bash 2018 Sucks. says 55 and sunny the whole time we're there. But of course, now that we're almost here, it's changed to 29 and snow. It's supposed to snow all day today. That's gonna suck. Sorry, Blizzard Bash, the Wisconsinites brought this stupid weather with us. We had a whole trunk full of stupid weather. <laughs> It's flat around here. You can watch oh God, your dog the road. run away for three days straight. <laughs> it's kind of boring. Thanks for having us, Iowa. The lady at the Eat Fresh was very nice. Oh, yeah. She was awesome. I feel like like my grandma made us breakfast this morning. <laughs> it was free cookie day at Subway. That's awesome. Fat kid likes cookies. We'll get to your Q&A here in just a minute. All right. So your last update was at 8 o'clock. It is now... 821. Why? Because we care. <laughs> It'd have been 817, but I was jamming, so deal with it. 
Breakfast so, was delicious. Thank you, Gladys. Yes, yeah, so we appreciate Gladys at the Eat Fresh. Um, free cookie. Great idea. Free cookie Thursday. It's Thursday? Oh, yeah, it's Thursday. All right. It's Thursday. It's Thursday. Blizzard Bash Day. All right. Let's A some Q's. A's and Q's. No, we got to A some Q's. Oh. A some Q's. Yeah. Answer F some questions. F and A, Cotton. <laughs> F and A. <laughs> You got the questions. Got the questions. So, we asked I'm you, not looking forward to this. The viewers. Because you guys came up with it. If you could be stuck in a car with us for 12 hours, what kind of questions would you have? Other than, can you be quiet? What was that noise? What was that smell? <laughs> Are we there yet? No, can't be quiet. <laughs> that noise was these freaking aluminum bodies on the back seat jingling the whole goddamn way. That's sorry, anyway. <laughs> So, question number one we got. I think we can both kind of answer it separately and together. We'll, we'll just talk a bunch of stuff. Simple. We winged stuff. That's what we're going to do right now. <clears throat> How long have you been driving in the demos? Question number uh, one. Um, that's actually, that's, that's kind of a tricky question. Tricky. I, I did my first derby in 2006. My... Mom had a 1989 Dodge Grand Caravan that my dad hated. In the winter time, you would have to drive for 10 minutes before that POS would get above 40 miles an hour. So finally, he'd been trying to convince her to get a new rig. I had a buddy in high school, his name was Eddie Lapine. Some of y'all might know of him. Eddie. One of you might be him. You better be watching Eddie. Uh, him and his dad, my, well, hold up. My dad threw me the keys and said, here, everybody turn this into a derby car. So I took it to Eddie. He built it for me. I went out and made one hit going backwards. The column shifter fell down into drive and got stuck. I couldn't get it back up into reverse for nothing. I lasted like two minutes, but boy, did I make some big freaking hits going forward in that car. <laughs> in a van. Yeah. Um, restarted, what, 2016? 2016 was the, the car that started this whole shebang. So I took nine years off. Nine years off. 2016 was my first derby in Wisconsin. I think it was, or 2015. Was it 15? Was it 15? It is it. Might have been yeah, the end it has of 15. To be, it has to be. Actually, 15. yeah, the end of 15 is when 15. I drove the, the Nissan for the first time. Right. So I grew up in the south where we basically had one demolition derby a year. But it was always a big family event. My dad and I would go and watch it. Uh, my brother's always been a big fan. And all of my friends in school, you built one car a year, and it took you all year to build that car. Uh, it's a two-day event in Kennett, Missouri, where they run a Thursday night, 80s and newer, and then a Saturday night, Pretty much anything goes the biggest difference for me growing up doing that my entire life uh, they had a youth class so I actually started driving full-size cars first uh, they didn't have a compact or a truck or a minivan or mid-size our hometown fair derby every year in uh, the end of September beginning of October it was just one class you show up and you run one class it was just a bunch of heats with a Conciana feature at the end. Run what you brung. Rules were pretty easy to go by. And there were some really good built cars growing up as a kid. So I started a long time ago. Um, took a little bit of time off throughout college. And so as soon as I moved here, I said, man, I want to get back into the scene. And I heard that Wisconsin ran smaller cars than just full-size cars because I've lived in an apartment up until now and I didn't have much space to build one so I literally sat down on my lunch break one day and bought a car off of Craigslist and had a somebody from work drop me off on their way home to get it and it was a 1990 what 1991 Nissan Sentra she was rusty but I was excited to find a small all-metal car. It didn't have any plastic on it. So I bought that car, way overbuilt it, because I was so used to building full-size cars my whole life, and uh, went out to the Wassa 
August Demolition Derby, I believe it was. Yep. And went out in the pits. It poured rain. Unfortunately, that event doesn't have any friggin' rules. Right. It poured rain all morning long. So my fuel pump was setting in a puddle of water in the passenger seat. We've still got some pictures, I think, out on Facebook of this yeah, car. Yeah, absolutely. Um, got in it to go out for my heat, and the wiring was fried to the fuel pump. Couldn't get the car started. So I was in the very first heat. I ended up not getting out there in time. Yanked the wires out, twisted them together, made the pump work, and they let me go out for the second heat. And as I got out there, I started the car, parked up against the wall. Whenever they said go, the car died, and I couldn't get it to start, so I just broke my flag right away and went back into the pits to find out that I forgot to turn the fuel pump on. So it pretty much just... sticks, not flags. Yeah, broke my stick. And uh, it just used the gas that was still in the inline pump to run from the pits to the track so like a moron I had to then turn around and go out for the Concy which I ended up doing really good in and I drove backwards as you can tell by the pictures until I got stuck uh, went nose to nose with someone else and I went right over the top of their bumper and my bumper was hung up on their engine block and so I got put out of the Concy so as soon as they unhooked us I drove the car off the track drove it right on the trailer all four tires were still aired up car had no issues other than the back end was a little ugly mm -hmm. and later on that night Cody says I'll buy that I want to get into demolition derby that's kind of what started that's this where it all began thing with a 1991 so, Nissan Sentra it's a horrible idea yep here we are how many cars later three years later yep. and uh, yeah I, well over I'd say probably 40 to 50 cars all right well that question took seven minutes so perfect we apologize folks what did you expect we've got four hours we talk a lot to do right just so you know that rumble i'm not drunk um, <laughs> i'm driving through construction perfect timing while i'm trying to do this stuff too so yeah um if well i guess you won't be able to see it doesn't say if i die make sure somebody still puts this video up but it would have to be you because you're the only one that's going to hear it if it doesn't go up nope all right next question <laughs> So this is going to be a long video. Watch it in parts if you want to. Watch How many? The whole thing. You're fine. <laughs> Funny you say this. How many cars have you had? Was another question. Oh that Jesus. Got. Um, We're not going to count previous past stuff that I did down south and and all of that. But we kind of play the game every other month where we go, hey, how many cars do we have right now? Or we do a barn trip video, or just for shits and giggles we're like how many cars have we scrapped because that number is never high enough for us i don't think that's true but in 2017 we did thorpe we did the last man standing in seymour we did lodi we did wassa july we did wassa august we did rosholt we did green lake and wyawega so that was eight demolition derbies that we did in 2017 that was our full season yep our first full season together. Yep. And most of those derbies we took two cars to. One of them we took four cars to. <laughs> yep. Um, and then some of them we only took one. Yep. Wasa, we only took one, and I think it was what Green Lake. Yep. I, I ran that one. Yep. yep. Just took one. So all together, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight cars that we ran between the two of us in 2017. So that's not how many we owned at the time. We started really building up our inventory. But we ran eight different cars in that's 2017. No, that doesn't sound horrible. Uh, we stepped up our game a little bit. So far in 2018, we're pretty much season closer here at Blizzard Bash. So if we don't count the RC cars, we just count the full-size cars. This year we did Roberts, Wisconsin, right over by yep. Minnesota. We did the last man standing again in Seymour, first place for us this year. That yep. was pretty awesome. Uh, we did the Lodi Team Derby, not such a good derby this year, still a lot of fun. We did Wassa in July, and then we did Oshkosh, so that's five. And if you recall, that's where I broke my arm, so we did not run the very next morning in Wassa, we just went to watch. <laughs> Yep. So we won't count that one. Um, but we did run Ross Schultz, and then we ran Brown County, 
Beaver Dam, Wyawega, and our last one, Medford, which we took a first and a third. Yep. Uh, so that we went to 10 demolition derbies this year. And out of those 10, you're not gonna believe it, but I think we only had seven, eight cars out of those 10. That kind of feels like a failure. Yes. Uh, your Prism and my Cavalier were team cars. Yep. And my Cavalier, we ended up running again. Yep. We ran the other Cavalier from last year. You ran that one. Uh, we managed to smash up the Electra pretty good. That was a fun car. Uh, the Mercury Crown Vic, whatever you want to call it, went out for two already this year and yep. still going for more. You totaled that tracker. Yeah. That was awesome. Paid six hundred dollars for that tracker and jumped it back. <laughs> no time. Yep. Thanks, Brett. Um, you finished off another Lumina, the Zarda Lumina. Yep. We got rid of that one this year. Plus that one that I used in the last man standing race. Got rid of that car too. That was the There's nose to nose hit in eight or nine. Yep. Why we go? Um, and then we had my Regal and the AMC wagon that we ran too. Yeah. All right. So. We've got a few. Yeah, not counting inventory. Our inventory is down right now. We're actually looking for some more mid-size, small cars, compacts, full-size, four wheels, <laughs> engine. Steering wheel. We we'll can put a steering stuff. wheel on it. Yeah, that's All right. right. Uh, next question. Oh, this is a good one. This comes from Travis. What was your faith? <laughs> <laughs> Travis, I got choked up. <laughs> hey, we're back in the normal speed limit. End of road work. What was your favorite car so far through the whole One Goose experience? Uh, for the One Goose experience, I probably have to say that stupid Cavalier. I, I would agree. Even build it. That's my favorite car. <laughs> the little engine that could. Yeah, I mean, to, there's, yeah, that, I mean, my first win in a derby, I can't really say that I've had yep. much better to this point. I mean, I've put on a lot of fun runs and had a blast, but it would definitely have to be that little car. That car gave us your first win yep. in a demolition derby. It gave me my first trophy in a demolition derby in Wisconsin. Um, it was kind of funny how we got that car, actually. So... Cody and I did the uh, the whole Nissan thing, and we're talking about it, and uh, you know we said, you know what, I, I think we should actually make this a sport. I remember, he and I were both pretty big into circle track racing, hint, hint, uh, a while back, hey. and we had a lot of fun with it, but we both said, you know what, let's kind of stick to something we're really good at. I don't know why we picked Demolition Derby if we were going with that, but... So I saw that crazy ass <laughs> Nissan you built. <laughs> yeah, that Nissan was a lot of fun too. Uh, you got a lot of good runs out of that car, Absolutely. actually. That car actually gave me my first trophy. Yep. Third, third yep. place at Nissan Motorsports Mayhem. Motorsports Mayhem with that little Nissan. So, um, so we decided to go run a couple of pre ran Luminas uh, for the season opener in 2017. And then Cody calls me up and he goes, Hey, there's this team show going on. Uh, where it's a race and it's kind of a demolition derby on a circle track. It's called the last man standing Was that the first year they had it or had they had it before that? Yeah, the first year they're gonna have it uh, This guy named Rick Harrington with Hollywood Motorsports who we're now really close friends with uh, He's gonna throw this event. We should build a couple cars and go do this. So in the middle of winter of 2016 uh, We go and we buy this super clean pre-ran Lincoln and when I say pre-ran it still had the headlights and tail lights and headliner and all that stuff in it it was a even destruction car I think it got one dent in it and that was it for a full-size Lincoln running and driving we go and buy this thing and he's like all right I'm gonna leave it in your garage and you're gonna build a full-size demolition derby car okay and so that started the whole season for 2017 and then a few weeks later he called me and I don't even know you we were talking about something and you were like yeah I found another team thing to do it's a, a compact show and I was like, hell yeah, sign me up. He's like, you're going to be able to go and do that too? Sure, why not? So it's like the very next day, Cody shows up with this spot-free, rust-free, white four-door Cavalier with no interior, no headlights, taillights, no driver's seat. <laughs> and he's like, ah, here it is. It runs and drives. Build this too. So I'm sitting there scratching my head going, I have no idea how to build a Cavalier. 
and it turns out pretty damn good car i mean we took it out and won a, a team heat win with that in lodi and then turn around and took some of the hardest hits of my life in a feature where my nose bled all season long after that <laughs> just randomly uh, probably a little more brain damage than i already had and uh, finally said let's go finish this thing off it's pretty much junked and ended up getting a trophy a second place out of that took it to wassa and ran it there again and then i said all right we are done with this thing let's scrap it cody says now nah, put it in the barn we might want to pull it out on a rainy day it was raining that day actually yeah and it didn't run no. Well, for actually, first of all, let's back up a second since we got four hours to explain this. Cody calls me and says, I'll meet you out at the barn after work. Well, Cody gets off work at 7 o'clock at night, and I get off work at 3 o'clock. I get off work at 6. You don't get there till 7. The Cavalier, you've seen where it was in the videos. It was the furthest thing up inside the barn possible. I can get that out. It literally took me a 2x6, two, two jacks and some toe straps and I inched it because you couldn't drive it from the front of the barn all the way outside to the point where I finally chained it to the back of my truck and I drug it outside and it didn't stop it ran off and landed in the cornfield <laughs> that's when Cody pulled up and was like oh great you got it outside that was easy <laughs> yeah it was we take it to its final derby and it won't start after we drove it around out there all day welcome to Missouri ah my home state look at that there was more left into that car than we thought. It didn't want to run that day. So it wanted to win. We loaded it up on the trailer and said, perfect, it's just gonna go to the junkyard anyway. And then somehow he talked me into, we repainted it as all we did. <laughs> Put the back window bar back in. Reset the security system. Yeah, reset the security system, took it to Medford, and got a first place win out of that. And there was what, 12 or 15 cars out there? And I, yeah feature it's at least 12 yeah. yeah that was nuts couldn't believe it so by far absolutely the very first cavalier so we've built three cavaliers now the first one was that car the yep. second one was the worst cavalier we've ever built yep uh new body style not a big fan of those eco eco -tex. eco tex big old plastic intake on the front it didn't work for us and then uh a little crazy homemade bumper cavalier that we're running yep. now it's the first one that you saw us build yep that's it that's right so uh this next is a, question this is a shorter question all right what do we have what's seven, your 17 minutes what's your favorite derby oh so maybe it could be the same answer or you could do two different answers let's do your favorite derby to watch and your favorite derby you participated in um well, as far as watching, I'd have to say the one we're going to. I've yes. pay-per-viewed this the last couple of years. Um, but really, a small-town show, my favorite derby to run in. I don't know, get me wrong. Like, I love the charity derby and, you know, uh, went to Motorsports Mayhem in the beginning of the year a couple times. Um, you know, even did all right with the Action Auto Show that I went to this year. And, you know, Peterson definitely surprised me with the quality of his show. So... Now, there's a lot of good promoters around, but my favorite show is Rochel. Really? Yeah. Rochel. I've been going to that derby since I was three. That's the one where the cows watch you while you're on the track. Right, right, exactly. Yeah. And when I first started going to that derby, they'd do 12 heats of big cars. And that place is, I've seen, you know, way up, way down, definitely a roller coaster. But it's end of the year. People are usually balls out. They want to put on a show. It's good cleanup dirt. It's two inches of sand on top of concrete, so you, if yep. you get hung up, you put her to the boards and the freaking smoke will start rolling the off your meat tracks. I've been to where you smoke the tires when you take off the hits. Damn right. <laughs> it's just a good time. It's a good show. Hard hits. Local good old boy kind of kind of show. Absolutely. Uh, definitely Blizzard Bash is my favorite derby to watch. Hopefully... You know, it was a year ago this weekend that we were sitting in Cody's living room and laughing, watching this on TV and going, you know what? There's our business goal. We want to be able to support ourselves to go to Blizzard Bash for the 2018 season. And in case you haven't realized over the past 20 minutes, that's where we're going. So 
I would hope you know that by Congratulations now. to us, I would say. High five. One goose final. Probably. One goose final. We're going to Blizzard Bash. So, definitely my favorite to watch. It's a really tough call to say what my favorite derby we've ran is. I feel like there could be a couple. It was probably one of the coolest feelings in the world for me, coming from such a small town and a small background, to go to the Oshkosh Derby this year because their facility was sweet. My car got hot driving from the pits to the track. That's how far away it was and how big of a place this is. The grandstands were phenomenal. You literally felt like you were doing a big time show. This was very professional. That place was really cool. It might not have been my favorite outcome of a demolition derby because I ended up in an ambulance, but... Minor. Minor, yeah. I walked out of the ambulance to hop back in my derby car to drive it back to the trailer, yeah. so it was a good day. But I would have to say that wow factor, that was one of them, but just the down home, backwoods, have a good time, there really aren't any rules, that Medford derby did it for me. I mean, it helps obviously that it finally our dream come true of it coming down to just me and Cody kind of um, I screwed that up but by far that Medford Derby was probably my favorite one that we ran this year that's fair for the sure outcome was good too yeah outcome for sure try not to have the same answer yet yes uh, if you could have any car to run what would it be that's a tough one. A Daewoo. <laughs> Had that once. <laughs> Scrapped it. Nope. Um, boy. So somebody walks up to you right now and says, any car imaginable. You can smash a Lamborghini. You can smash a limo. Nah, it doesn't I, matter. I wouldn't want to do that kind of stuff. You can have just, it. What would it be? I know people out there talk stupid all the time. And I, trust me, I talk stupid plenty. <laughs> um, uh, you know, smashing those kind of cars. But... I think after seeing how those guys did out east with that relic class, I'd like to run something like that. It's something from the 50s. It doesn't have to be anything particular. I'm not a, I hate doing what everybody else does. You guys know that. You know, the fact that we build Luminas and, and Crown Vix is annoying enough to me because it's what everybody else does. But they're out there, they're available, and there's a gazillion tips on how to do it. So um, build what you're good at, I guess. So. Um, you know, something like that. I mean, something old from the 50s. Right? Yeah, Mad Dog Motorsports, I believe it's uh, the Team Germain. They did an awesome job. They created like a before and after picture of pretty much all those relic cars. And Cody and I were just talking about that yesterday. That was so cool to see how they bent or didn't bend, as you could say, for some of those old school cars. That was really neat. And I've restored a few cars in my lifetime. I really enjoy stuff like that. But sorry for the bumps, guys. I can't fix that. Yeah, right. I'm surprised the camera hasn't fell on the floor. It, it should have. It's dancing up there pretty good. <laughs> um, I, I almost thought it would hurt my feelings watching those cars get smashed. But man, I think the coolest thing you can do with a car is build a demolition derby car.